Why your pages and posts are not showing up in Google search results? You did a lot of hard work writing those blog posts and pages, creating your website. But when you try to search in Google search result, your website doesn't show up. Sometimes you try to search the keyword you wrote a blog post about and that doesn't show up at all in the Google. If you're facing such issues, don't worry, you're not alone. A lot of people face this issue. I face this kind of issue myself in past. In this video, I'm going to explain you how you can overcome this issue when your pages and posts are not showing up in Google search result. And this is a very important video for everybody whether you have a blogger website or a WordPress website or any other platform if you want to up-level your SEO game. And this video is also very important because I saw a lot of bad advice on YouTube and internet that just click on request indexing button and then your pages will be indexed. No, it doesn't work like this. So make sure you watch this video until the end. So this video is gonna be in three important parts. First part, we'll talk very briefly about what is the issue and how you can see if you're facing this issue on your website. Second and third part will be solution of these issues. Sometimes I receive comments on the channel that why I'm talking about the issue, just give the solution. But you should be aware what is the issue, then only you can find the correct solution for the issues. So second part will be, if you have some mistake or error on your website, that's why your page is not showing up in search result. We're gonna solve all those things in second part. The third part will be, if you do not have any error at your end and you tried everything, then what you can do to show your website posts and pages in search result. So let's start with the first part, identifying the issue of posts and pages not showing in search result. So you can see this is my screen and this is my website. For example, if I go to blog and this is a blog post, how to fix WordPress, need to access your web server. If I take the title of this blog post and search on Google, and then you can see multiple results are shown up here. This is not my website. However, this video shows up, it's from my YouTube channel, but we are not talking about YouTube channel. So we neglect this result. But if I scroll more, you can see I do not see my website here. So what does it mean? Does it mean that my page is not showing in Google search result? No, not at all. We need to go to the next level to identify this issue. So maybe what is happening, my website is indexed on Google, but not ranking on search result. So to know what we can do, you enter this keyword and then type site colon and then copy your website domain name and then enter it here. Now you see if I enter this, the results for my website are shown here and you can see the page is showing here. What else you can do? You can type site colon then your website domain name. You can see all my pages are here. You can see about page, site audit, program archives, everything showing up from my website here. Even you can see here. Download complete WordPress blog website with ratings is showing here. We're going to talk about in different video how you can add this kind of ratings on your website. So now you understand the issue is not that your pages are not showing in search result. The issue is that they are not ranking. And when you try to search with a site colon, you can see these pages are indexed but not ranking. So try this thing and you will know the pages are indexed, they are not ranking. So this is not the issue that your pages are not showing in search result. What else you can do? You can take the complete URL and then search here with your URL then you can see my website is still not showing up and then when you scroll you find a lot of videos from my youtube channel but it is not from my website blog post you can see some pages which has the different keywords but not this exact page is showing up on the first result but if in the end if i add site colon and my website url and if i search now you can see the page is showing up so now we understand how to know that your website is not at all listed on google or not just ranking so i hope you understand the issue how you can identify and define the issue because sometimes a lot of people on my youtube channel they comment on the videos that oh i tried everything my website is not showing in search result in reality their pages are not ranking they're already indexed on search result they're not just ranking so first step will be you need to identify whether your pages are not just ranking but they are still indexed on google search result so let's go to the second part where we can see the common errors which makes your website page not showing up in search result so the first one is very simple if you have a new website for example, if you create a new website and it is not showing in search result, you tried your website URL or you tried site colon, it's still not showing, it just means Google didn't have any time to crawl your website. So be patient, SEO is a patience game. If you're not patient, SEO can be really hard for you. So be patient if your new website, give it a few weeks and then look again, your pages will be indexed on search result. Second common error can be indexing issues. So you need to connect your website to Google search console. I created a complete video about it. I will add the link in description, how you can do that and then you need to go here on pages and pages you can find all the pages on your website which are indexed and which are not indexed. Index means all these pages are indexed and 42 pages are not indexed and there are 5 reasons. If you scroll the page, Google will clearly tell you why pages are not indexed. We are not talking about ranking, this means pages are not at all indexed on Google. Google is not indexing those pages on any of the page. If you go to the 100 page of search result, these pages are not indexed on Google search result. 
So these can be multiple errors. Excluded by no index tag, not found 404. Page will redirect. Crawl currently not index. Discover currently not index. Duplicate choose different canonical than other user. Okay. So excluded by no index tag. If you click on this, you can see the affected pages. So this page website. How to speed up WordPress website. If I click on this glass icon. You need to look for this URL is not on Google. This page is not indexed. Pages are indexed can be served on Google. So if you see this issue here, what you need to do is scroll the page and then you can see why this page is not indexed. You can see here indexing allowed and here it said no. No index detected in the robots meta tag. So what is happening It's myself. I told to Google that do not index this page and sometimes it can be happened due to a mistake. It can be happened because you set no index in your WordPress setting or in your robots.txt file. I can do a complete video about it so you can find the link in solution how you can remove no index tag from your website blog post or pages. So once you solve that issue you remove the no index tag then you can click on request indexing and this page will be indexed. Let's see another example and then you can see there are a lot of different pages here. There are feed pages here. In case of blogger website you will have m is equal to 1 pages. If you see these pages they are not indexed because no index tag don't worry about it. They should not be indexed there because feed pages are for feed readers. They're not there to be shown on Google search result. Even if you see page about M is equal to one in blogger, they should not be indexed there. Let's see other things. You can see error not found 404. You can see all these pages are 404. They don't exist anymore on website. That's why they're not indexed. So best practice is when you change your website pages or URL, you set up a redirect so that this page, which doesn't exist anymore, they can redirect to another page, which is relevant page on the website. If you completely want to remove these pages and you do not have any page to redirect, you can just leave like that. In few months, we will remove these pages from the database. And then we have page we redirect. So if you click here, you can see here multiple pages we redirect. If you see some elementor pages here, don't worry about it. You can leave them like this. They should not be indexed on Google. Or any page with a code or something in the end, don't worry about it. They should not be indexed on Google. And then we crawl currently not indexed. And then discover currently not indexed. These are very related issues. So first we talk about discover. So click on discover currently not indexed. And then check these pages why they're not indexed. For example, this page pricing. If I click on this icon, then you can see UL is not on Google. But every time you need to check this important thing, every time you see a page, check this page exists on sitemap or not. If there is no sitemap related to page, make sure the page should be added to sitemap. There's a complete whole topic about it, how you can add pages in sitemap. We're going to talk about a little bit more that in detail, but for now, just check this issue that whether this page is indexed on sitemap or not. And then you can see last crawl not available. So this page was never crawled by Google. So, which means Google doesn't have time to crawl this page. This page is known to Google. That's why this page is showing in discovered country not index. So wait for some time or what you can do, just choose the page icon and then request indexing. So Google will crawl this page. If you see this issue crawl currently not index, click on this error here and all the pages will be shown here. You can see here these pages are not indexed. Same thing again, if I click on this glass icon, then you can see URL is on Google. So there's no problem about it. It shows crawl, currently not indexed, but this page is indexed on Google. And if you click here, you see page is indexed, but in the report is showing not indexed. So don't worry about it, the page is indexed. And for example, there's another page on the website, which is a category page. If I click on this glass icon, and you can see page is indexed. Sometimes what can happen, there's no issue with these pages, but Google decided not to index them. Because what happened, Google crawl these pages, and Google think the page is not good enough to be indexed on Google because the data you added on the page is not very good quality or Google think better pages are available. So Google decided not to index these pages and it can happen in a lot of cases if you use AI written content. So make sure guys do some work. Don't be lazy. Don't just copy paste all the AI content. Take help of AI, but don't just copy paste the AI content. And there are other errors. I created a complete playlist about all these issues, technical issues. If you want to watch those videos, check the description or I'll add the top eye link here. These videos are very useful. And I guarantee you, if you watch this series, you will have so much knowledge and understanding about search console issues and you will have better SEO of your website. At any point, you see your pages not coming any of these categories. What you can do, you can just copy your website URL from here and then inspect any URL and add your page here and click enter. And then you can see whether page is indexed on Google or not. And then from here, you can find why this page is not indexed. I hope this is not getting very technical. Rewatch the video and watch other videos I created on these kind of search console error topics. And I'm sure if you're focused and you watch this video again, you will understand everything. Okay, let's talk other technical issue what can happen in search engine console. So you can go to page experience and then you see core web battles, HTTPS. So make sure HTTPS is always there. You have SSL on your website. 
If you don't have SSL, that might be a problem that your website is not indexed to Google. You can add a free SSL from Let's Encrypt or from Cloudflare free of cost on your website. That is very easy. It takes a couple of minutes to set up. I will add the video how you can do that in the description. And guys, you can see here sometimes if core web vitals are bad, you can see I have need improvement and need improvement. But if I click on this page, you can see there's no poor URL. If you see some pages with poor here, then that is another possibility your pages are not indexed. And because your website is slow, so make sure your website is fast. If you watch my channel, I have so many videos on how to improve website speed and that is very simple to do. So make sure your website is fast, use at least some cache plugin and add optimized image, add Cloudflare and your website pages will be really fast. That is for everybody that I recommend to everybody that you should have a fast website irrespective of your pages are showing up or not. You should have fast website because when you have fast website, your pages are preferred in search engine ranking. So if your pages are indexed and if they're fast, they're going to show on the top of the search result. And of course you need good content too. Okay, so last thing will be here, security and manual actions. So if you click on manual actions here and if you see some issue here, that's why page is not showing up. If you have security issue here, like your website was hacked or somewhere, then your page will not show. I just give another example of a website. You can see another website and here you can see view related messages. So you can see here on the right side, we used to have some security issues in the past. So you can see here Google Safe Browsing System have detected that some page of your website might be hacked or might include third party sources. So this website was hacked before. That's why the pages are not showing from this website. So make sure you use WordFence plugin in your website so you don't have any issue with security your website. And Google see your website is safe to display on the search result. So make sure you've done this. So this is the most complicated part. The coming tips are very easy. So these are common error why your pages are not showing up in Google search result. Let's see if you tried everything. You have no errors. You have quality content on your website. Everything is good. Still your pages are not appearing. Let's see how we can fix those things. So first thing will be to submit your website to Google Search Console. Sometimes we don't have sitemap, which is added to Search Console. If you use Yoast SEO rank map, they by default create a sitemap of your website. If you have any other website, make sure your sitemap of your website. Usually your sitemap of your website will be something like this. Your website domain slash sitemap underscore index.xml. So copy this URL and then go to Google Search Console and make sure you enter this here. Don't enter the complete URL. Just take the last part and then submit. I already submitted my sitemap. You can see I submitted it on 3rd of October and last date was 20th December, which is today. And it is very honest mistake. Sometimes I found this is so silly issue that you just submit your sitemap and then your website page will be indexed. Another thing is keyword competition. If you're choosing a super competitive keyword, then it's a big possibility your pages will not show up on search result. Maybe they show up on the 100th page, but not on the first pages. So I recommend you to choose long tail keywords do some keyword research. There's a lot of free tools available on internet and write blog posts or pages on the topics which are not very competitive. Try to use the long tail keywords. They're really easy to index and rank on Google search engine. So make sure do the basic keyword research. It is not very complicated. It might look like it is complicated, but honestly, if you give like one hour, two hours, you will understand everything about keyword research. And I highly recommend you to niche down your website. If you're making blog posts about 10 healthy foods to eat, then it's a very complicated keyword. Try to niche down something so that you do not have so much competition for your blog post. And if you choose clever keywords, long tail keywords, your page will show very soon on search result. I will add a link to a very good video in the description how you can learn keyword research. And this is a very important skill for everybody who want to upgrade the SEO game. Okay, another issue is content quality. Google loves high quality content which is informative, engaging and relevant to your target audience. So if you're writing a blog post from ChatGPT or Gemini or any other AI tool, don't do that. Take help of ChatGPT or any other AI tool to outline the topics or outline the headings and then only you write your blog post by yourself. So take the help of AI but write blog post yourself. Make sure you include the list items or you include the headings, write a conclusion, add a table of contents and it is really good if you add some images also on your blog post. It is possible sometimes you cannot add images to a blog post but try to find at least one image or at least one featured image which is relevant to your blog post. Add some images, add some videos or some graphics you want to add to your blog posts or pages. The more quality and content which are relevant to that focus keyword you provide to that post, the better are chances they will rank on search engine. Do not write a small blog post with some paragraphs and expect to rank it on search engine. So make sure you write a complete detailed blog post or page about some topic or keyword you are trying to rank on Google search engine. I will create a separate video that how to write quality blog post which will rank. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel so you will be notified when I release that video. That is really important about everything. If you write a quality blog post which have all these checklists, nobody can stop you 
to rank on Google search engine. Of course, don't use very complicated keyword if your website authority is not really high and a new website. Another thing is on-page SEO. So make sure titles, tags, meta description and headlines are optimized for target keywords. And also make sure your internal linking is good on the pages and you link the pages inside your website. If your external links, that's the best thing coming from Google website, that can be the best thing ever. And also make sure you use rank math or use SEO plugin. So when you write blog posts, you can see the score on the screen. You can see what you need to do to increase your website on page SEO and where you're lacking. And this is really simple when you use rank math or use SEO plugin, when you write blog posts, it gives you all the description that what you need to do in order to rank your page on Google search result. And the last point will be to build backlinks. That might sound very hard because sometimes you will say, where can I find the backlinks? If you don't find any other way to make backlinks, make sure you have social presence of your website. Create a Facebook page, create an Instagram page, LinkedIn, Quora page for your website and make sure you add your website there. These are the very basic platform where you can build the backlinks. Sometimes these links are not follow links. You need to have the follow links. Sometimes there are no follow links, which don't give very value to your website, but still try to create backlinks on these kind of social media. And also try to do guest blogging. Ask somebody who is in your field that if you can write a blog post for them or try to contact with different website owner to build backlinks. And there's so many websites where you can create backlinks for free. I'll add the list in the description from where you can get backlinks for free also. Okay, now very important thing guys, SEO is a marathon, not a sprint. So work on your website, write quality content, and your pages will be indexed. And watch this small place on screen to get rid of all search console errors and properly implement Yoast or Rank with plugin website. So your website pages are indexed very quickly and rank on Google. And don't hesitate to comment on this video. I answer all the comments on my channel.